My name is Tom Lee and welcome to my demonstration of the Panit Kois Dental Facial Analyzer. The Dental Facial Analyzer was developed in conjunction with Dr. John Kois where we basically took a fox pine and we add a vertical rod to it by sliding it into the slot here in the front. People ask why do we slide this into the slot? Well that's because some people have shorter noses and some people have longer noses and we're going to reference this vertical rod to their facial midline. So the closer we can get to that source the less subjective it will be. Next we can add the Kois index tray. The Kois index tray does have little pins on the bottom that index through the holes in the bite plate here and we want to make sure it's seated all the way down against the plate. At this point you can use either a bite registration material, wax, uh, or you can use the Panadent bite tab. It's a red impression compound that's been put on a self-adhesive strip so we can just peel this back on one side and peel off the whole strip including the compound. We can just peel off the strip and stick them on both the molar areas and we're also going to put two over the bicuspid areas. Now we have the bite tabs onto the Kois index tray. We can temper this in hot tap water in preparation for the registration. We have now tempered the compound on the Kois index tray and I'm going to re-index it to the bow and make sure it's seated all the way down. And I can squeeze this compound into a cone shape if I need more height, especially with a steep plane of occlusion or a candidate occlusal plane. Open the patient's mouth. We're going to set the incised ledge to the wall on the index tray there. We're going to push the vertical rod back and align the vertical rod to the patient's facial midline and come straight up to whatever tooth hits first, stops, take it out, and you can see that we now have indentations of the teeth into the compound. We're going to harden this compound in cold water at this time. The compound has now been hardened with cold water. We can place this back in the patient's mouth to verify that we do have a good relationship. I like the patient to reach up with their thumb and put it underneath their teeth to hold this in place so I can now look at this to make sure that the vertical rod is down facial midline and when she sits erect that it's approximately horizontal from a profile view as well. But this is the critical aspect, getting the vertical rod to facial midline so we can see where our dental midline is in relationship to facial midline, but more importantly whether we have a cant in our dental midline in relationship to facial midline. Now that we've verified that this position, we can remove this from the patient. We can actually remove this index tray, which creates a permanent Facebook registration record, kind of first in the industry. We can actually put the patient's name and date on this and use this at a future time for mounting the maxillary cast. The bow can be cleaned and kept in the operatory for use with the next patient.